The number of new coronavirus cases in Italy, meanwhile, declined, but the death toll continues to rise. The number of COVID-19 fatalities in Italy rose to 566, up from 431 the previous day. The overall death toll is now over 20,465. Se purtroppo dobbiamo registrare che la mortalità è stata piuttosto eh, elevata, però quello che si vede oggi è qualcosa che in termini di contagio però è attribuibile a giorni fa. Ecco, questo dobbiamo tenerlo in mente, se no non riusciamo a capire. No? Cioè, come mai dite che va meglio quando purtroppo il numero di morti è ancora elevato, quando i casi sono... Meanwhile, neighboring France has extended its lockdown till the 11th of May for a month. This is President Emmanuel Macron warned that the pandemic was not yet under control. This comes as the death toll in France neared 15,000. L'espoir renaît, je vous le disais, oui, mais rien n'est acquis. Dans le Grand Est, comme en Ile-de-France, les services hospitaliers sont saturés. Partout, en Hexagone, comme dans les Outre-mer, le système est sous tension et l'épidémie n'est pas encore maîtrisée. Nous devons donc poursuivre nos efforts et continuer d'appliquer les règles. Rafale jets, which were aboard a COVID-19 stricken aircraft carrier, have returned to their base in northwest France. Personnel who operated those jets were tested before being quarantined at a military facility. In Spain, laborers went back to work as the country started to ease the tough lockdown restrictions that have kept people confined to their homes for over a month. Dozens of health workers in capital Madrid paid tribute to a colleague who passed away. The 57-year-old nurse became the third medic to succumb to COVID-19 in the Spanish capital. Spain has confirmed over 17,000 coronavirus deaths. Pues con mucha desesperación, desesperación por los pacientes, desesperación por nuestro trabajo, que a veces nos vemos un poco indefensos, sin EPIs adecuados en ciertas ocasiones, en la mayoría de las ocasiones, y sufriendo mucho por nuestras familias. Yo en mi caso soy trabajo como auxiliar, pero mi madre está en la UCI con, con COVID. Entonces somos trabajadores, pero a la vez somos familiares de pacientes a los que no podemos ver.